Israel's Iron Dome is arguably the world's most effective missile defense system there is, taking out incoming rockets. Uh, we've heard the sirens go off all week, and, and Israelis have heard it too. It, but it's faced its biggest test ever this week. The overwhelming number of missiles fired into Israel pushed the Iron Dome to its limits. Nick's here with more on this high-tech marvel. Uh, Nick, was it designed for this? Absolutely. And, Mark, even in that video that you see, the minute uh, the dome is activated, Israelis get an alert on their phone. Israeli's Iron Dome was first deployed in March of 2011. Because the flight time for a rocket is so short, Iron Dome can operate on automatic. The military claims it has about a 90 percent success rate, but it was pushed to the limits during the early hours of the attack due to the sheer number of rockets fired. We will be flowing in additional Iron Dome interceptors so that they have the capabilities they need to sustain their Iron Dome defense systems. Israel says Hamas has launched more than 4,500 rockets, many of them intercepted by the Iron Dome air defense system. The Pentagon now scrambling to replenish Israel's arsenal amid concerns Hamas may have cracked the crucial missile defense system by simply overwhelming it. Battery, if an Iron Dome would go up, and knock out a missile. It would first calculate where that missile was going and go next to it and knock it out. But it only has about 20 missiles at a time. We're watching 5,000 go. With at least 10 missile batteries throughout the country, each capable of defending a 60 square mile area, it has kept the death toll from going even higher. On Tuesday, President Biden promising to send more interceptors manufactured by Raytheon at about $50,000 each. Their plan was to build enough missiles to overwhelm and that first set of missiles to be dumb missiles until you took out all the ability in the Iron Dome to knock them down. Then you send the precision guided long range missiles. Some experts say the system performed as best it could given the overwhelming number of missiles launched. It lived up. Uh, to the best it could have been anticipated under those circumstances. It could have been at least 10, even higher fold. Marky, two more points. Iron Dome's interceptors only hone in on slow, low altitude rockets that are headed toward populated areas. And a growing concern, Hezbollah. And the missiles fired just this morning at an Israeli military position. If Hezbollah, which is based in Lebanon on Israeli's northern border, unleashes its full stockpile of rockets and missiles, Iron Dome could be stretched to its limits. Marky. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.